We're in Jasper Active Word 2019, Lesson 5. We're going to be doing proofing your document. So this is just a one-step exercise, and we're going to use some proofing tools to check our spelling so as, and our grammar. As you're going through here, what you're going to see is we have these little squiggly red lines um, that indicate that we have some misspellings and then we have our double blue line which may indicate that we have some kind of uh, grammatical error so we're going to go up to our review tab and we're going to use the um, the check spelling and grammar function that lives in the proofing group now it doesn't say spelling and grammar what you will see is it says check document and it should give you a little ABC with a green check mark. So if your screen is looking a little different, you might just look for that edi um, the editor icon or that ABC check mark. I'm going to click on it and it's going to open up a panel over on the right hand side that says editor. And then it's going to show me my corrections here. So it looks like I have six spelling corrections and one grammar correction that it has uh, identified. So I'm going to click on spelling. Now what you'll see is in your document, it's going to move down to that first uh, spelling error. It's also over here in this panel going to give you the sentence that it's in and then some suggestions for what changes you might want to make. So in this case, company name provides eco-friendly travel. We want to use friendly. So all I have to do is click on the word friendly. The next one, all of our tours meet stringent requirements. So stringent is misspelled. I'm going to use this first one right here. Now this one, you want to make sure that you're reading through them because sometimes, for example, this says your. So you might think, oh, I have to change it to your. But if we read the sentence, we're going to figure out that it actually should be you. We also have travel directors at international locations to serve your better, right? So your wouldn't be correct. You would be correct. So we're going to select that one. This one will be opportunities. And then this last one, heli skiing. And yours might have started at a different spot, and that's okay. You just want to go through and click the correct options. But heli skiing, skiing is spelled with two I's. So I'm going to select that one. Hot air ballooning, ballooning has two L's in it, and my spelling check is complete. Once you've done that, you can click on the grammar check, and it's going to show you um, where that indication is. Now in this, it looks, it can be hard to tell, but it looks like maybe there's double, two spaces in between these words instead of one. So it just shows me suggestions as well. I'm going to select that. Now my grammar is still indicating something, so I'm going to click on it, and it says, oh, what about this? Now I can see, looking at this document, there's two commas here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the suggestion of just one comma. And those have all checked out, and you should get a pop-up that says you've finished reviewing editor's selections or suggestions. Go ahead and click OK. And that's it for that activity.